Hey guys, it's Mirika Bundance and we're in for a very hot topic today. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. Is it actually true? It's very dear to my heart, it's been highly requested, so let's start right away. First off, for everyone to know, science does show that the fat we wear is actually the fat we ate because uh, it's exactly made up of the dietary essential fatty acids that we eat. That's a fact, that's science, there's nothing to, uh, to change or say about that. That doesn't mean that the fat we eat is the fat we wear. That's a whole different topic and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Stay tuned and leave a comment and a like or whatever you feel like to share below this video. Also, if you would like to be my first Patreon, I would be happy to welcome you on my Patreon page. My videos are considered to be not eligible for monetizing and that is quite sad because it's very, very important stuff that I'm talking about um, because so many people are actually falling into health issues um, just because they are following the perfect diet and that perfect diet is actually ruining their health and also their metabolism and yeah. Back to the topic. So whether whole food plant-based or high carb, low fat or whole starch, low fat or uh, what more is there, whole 30, we've managed to somehow make food the most complicated thing in the world because we've managed to break it down into its uh, single components. And then we started to control the single components in terms of how many percent we eat of what and everything. It's very sad to see it, especially in the vegan and the vegetarian community, because um, there, especially that um, desire to live and eat perfectly and perfectly healthy is very, very high from the start. And we see so many vegans fail desperately thinking it was their, the faultiness of their diet and they're lacking or missing something. Whereas it was actually not eating enough calories or their whole food and nutrient and macro obsession and or pesticide laden food that made them sick. Um, I've been through a whole lot of uh, health problems on a vegan diet and I've reversed all of them on a vegan diet. One of them is also my eating disorder that I'm currently re reversing for a year already and um, that's why I'm talking about the topic today because I was one of the people eating as little fat as possibly possible and let me tell you one thing already it's a little spoiler it didn't work it actually made my health worse and also it didn't help losing weight at all. Actually, it kind of did the opposite because it was lowering my metabolism. What I'm trying to say in this video today is it's not even necessary. Why is the fat you eat not the fat you wear? Let me be very clear, there's a very, um, important distinction to make. So, science does show the fat you eat is, in a way, the fat you wear because it is actually made up of the essential fatty acids that you are eating. But what that notion is actually implying and wanting to say is that actually the fats are bad for you because they're going to make you put on weight. The more fat you eat, the more fat you are going to wear. And that is what I'm talking about today. There are different reasons why the body is storing fat. Uh, just because your body is storing fat doesn't mean it's the dietary fat's fault. <laughs> because um, 
if you store fat, it's either because your body wants it there, it's actually healthy for you to have to store fat there in this place, or um, it's because your body is not willing or not able, or both of these, um, to burn it or use it for other functions. In other words, it's not willing or able to just waste them away, just burn them as energy. The most common assumption publicly, like that you hear all the time would be that, well, you're just eating excess calories or you're just eating excess calories from fat. But I, today I wanna introduce you to a very unpopular or even unknown reason why the body is storing fat. And that is because the body is not in a metabolic state where it is happy to store these calories. The fat you eat is not actually the problem but the problem lies in the lower metabolism that you have from a long time of calorie deficit. Be it a small calorie deficit or a big calorie deficit, doesn't matter, there's, there's different um, stages of a lowered metabolism, but the body is much more prone to storing fat when it's in a low metab metabolism survival mode. And I know, there's a lot of people saying, well, survival mode is a myth, blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's a fact that the body is lowering its metabolism when in a calorie deficit for a long time and when it's perceiving starvation. It's just implying that the body is prioritizing functions that are essential for survival and it's not necessarily spending energy on any functions that are not necessary for survival. And one of these symptoms is, for example, that it is storing fat. It is holding on to energy. It's actually burning much less than if it was in a high uh, burning state and if food was abundant. So the longer you ate low calorie or lower calorie, then your body actually needs to function at its best optimally the lower your metabolism will run and um, the more prone you're going to be to store the fat you eat as the fat you wear, if that makes sense. I want to make very clear here that just because your body is not willing or able to just burn away the calories from fat, that doesn't mean that these fat calories are excess excessive because the body regulates itself if it can afford to burn and waste energy. It itself decides when it's wiser to store the fat or when it is wiser to burn the fat. And in general, the more abundantly you eat, the more abundantly the calories are coming in for your body, the more it will just burn these calories because it's in a high metabolism state. And that's why when you're storing fat, it doesn't mean that you overate or that that was excessive calories. It's so much more complicated than that. The fat you eat is the fat you wear is so wrong about that because it's not the fat calories. It's not the essential fatty acids that are going to decide what is going to be done with them in your body. That's very important to note. So remember, something can be excessive at this point of your life but not really excessive just it can be stored as fat whereas it actually isn't and it wouldn't be if your metabolism was high and healthy and it might be the case for you now because your metabolism is low and just because your body puts on weight right now doesn't mean you're eating too much or it doesn't even mean that you're eating enough um, because if you're eating 2,000 calories or even less than that, that is not enough. It doesn't matter what you do, like how old you are, it is far below the bare minimum. Maybe if you're a one meter person, then that might be accurate. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, just because you're putting on weight, just because that is happening. It doesn't mean that you're eating enough or too much. These are two 
different pairs of shoes. And that is very important because that makes the fat you eat is the fat you wear already quite faulty. When our body stores fat, then it is actually storing the fat, like the dietary fatty acids that we ate. But you cannot turn that around and say every single molecule of fat you eat is the fat you wear. That is very different and very wrong. 